Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how we convert the CSV folder that we created from the dev into a folder that we're actually then able to use and schedule. So the first thing you need to do is open up the folder, okay, and also open up the sample CSV folder, which you should already have, okay. And if you just come back to the other folder, first of all, the first thing to do is you're going to copy this column here, copy everything and put it over into the sample folder, but we're going to put it into column B. So you can just Apple V and paste it. Okay, I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to scroll it down all the way down to the bottom. Oh, that's annoying. So I'm going to scroll it down all the way to the bottom here. I don't know why it's being, it's being a bit of a pain. There we go. Going to do it like that. Okay, and then you press Control and C to copy it, and then you're going to paste it into the content box there. Okay, if you just then bring along this column on C, okay, so you can drag and drop if you get in between column B and C, get that line, and then you can move it across however far you want. Okay, now we're in this column, now we're in this worksheet, so you're now on the sample worksheet. You need to get this string here okay so it's the http all the way up to forward slash upload right here and we're going to press Control and f if you're on a pc and we're going to get rid we're going to go to replace find what and you paste that in there paste that string in i'm going to have to do it again because it's not done it and that's up to upload and including the forward slash, which is just there. So I'm going to put that in. Okay. And we'll pr press replace all. Okay. It's made 290 replacements, which is perfect. So there were 290 bits of content. Okay. And then that would just leave us with the actual image um, that we're going to have. Next thing to do is come back to your original source file. So the original CSV file, and then grab the captions, which are in column B. Just let's just make that really clear. So they're in this in this worksheet. They're called status. So you're going to get those, and drag them down. Click and drag down. Okay, and then press Control and C. So you can then insert them into the text column, which is column C. And then there we go, that's pasting in all of our captions, okay? Now, first thing to do is save this. No, sorry, first thing to do is just scroll down to make sure that on this left-hand column, which is where it specifies what type of content that we have, that everything says image, and it's actually going all the way following the statuses and following the, um, following the, image, following the images as well. So look... 86 and then we can see that there aren't any more afterwards and we try to put that into the scheduler without any indication of what the content is it's not going to work so we're going to copy image all the way down and an easy way to do it is just click on the cell grab that right hand corner okay uh bottom right corner i bring it right 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 down drag and drop until the last entry and it auto populates with the same content so all the way down which is fantastic it's exactly what we need and then you simply press save so you need to decide what you're going to save it as in fact go to save as um, and then save it somewhere where you know you're going to be able to access it again okay and we're going to save it as the name of the page a whole lot of women okay content and just put it somewhere if you organize a nice folder on your computer that would be great and just press save save a 
to save it. There we go. We don't need this anymore, so you can delete that one. Okay, we don't need to save it. We can just get rid of it. That's all for this video, and I will come back to you shortly. In